Welcome back to the Ghost Key. I am Gray, and today we have another skirmish episode for you. The reason why we have skirmish and not Lotro, like I told you we were going to have, is because yeah, my uh, other half has been sick this weekend, so we haven't been able to record at all. So, um, and I've been kind of lazy, and it's just kind of taken me a while to get around to doing this. So, this is what you have: an episode of Lotro skirmishes as a stopgap. So. What skirmish we're going to do today is what? Which? Which is the word I should be using, huh? Is storm on Methodros. Now, I actually got a quarter of the way through recording this a few minutes ago, but um, sure I've mentioned this before, but Lotro has this incredibly awesome uh habit of just randomly closing. Like whenever I play it. It'll close, just, it'll just shut down, like it won't, like my computer won't lag out or anything or anything like that. It'll just shut down and go straight to desktop and my computer will not skip a beat. It's fucking weird. But here's the funny thing is, it only does it when I first start playing the game. Like, within the first 15 minutes or so, and then I can play for like the next 8 hours and not have any issue. It's the fucking weirdest thing. And it only happens with this game. So, anyhow, we're gonna go jump into Storm on Methodross. We get to see some very cute stuff here. So, let's get our herbalist out, if it'll let us. There we go. For whatever reason, the audio thing didn't play. That's weird. Because, like I said, it kind of kicked me out earlier, so I guess maybe that... But anyway, this is what they say. Um, what's weird about this... Um, What's weird about this uh, skirmish is that it opens up to you very, very early in the game. It's one of the first, um, ooh, we get lots of yetis today. It's one of the first skirmishes you're able to play. Um, fuck you. However, um, storyline wise, it takes place much, much later in the game. It takes place back actually in volume three when you get to Dunlin, and in fact, there's some very cute um, uh, quests that actually lead up to it, some very nice, investigative, mysterious quests that kind of lead up to uh, what you end up doing here, which is basically climbing a mountain and killing an old lady. It's very, uh, you know, it's very nice, very nice. But like I said, it's very strange. Um, another thing about this skirmish is it's very soloable if that's something you're looking for um add this to your list of ones that's super duper easy um you can just you know run in here and just lay waste to everything pretty much i mean there's just a few small parts that are kind of hectic but um even the um drake at the end is relatively tame however it can get kind of hairy if you don't have heals um because if you fought a drake at any point in the game um you know that they uh, are certainly um, certainly DPS or something. I mean, like out, out the ass. I mean, they're just they really do uh, kind of strike a little bit of fear in you. And I've always mentioned that as one of the things that they give certain monsters. Fuck, can I attack that thing? Um, they really do a great job of making certain monsters have some uniqueness and something to. You know, make certain monsters something to fear. Like I said, the uniqueness overall is what they really got. And it's really awesome. I like it a lot. Oh, that didn't hit him. Oh. Anyhow. Um, let's see. Uh, oh, and uh, in terms of encounter monsters, the special ones that spawn every time you play this. Um, if I remember right, and I haven't done this one in a while. They should be all very easy to get to I mean um, most of this is very straightforward it's very close quarter you pretty much just run through here and I mean well, like, like you see here you tap the flag and these guys come out at you and you just kind of fight off a few waves and then you move out clear everything you basically have to fight everything too while you're at it so like I said encounter monsters are really easy to farm in here if you're looking to um, once again have a uh, have a skirmish that you can really just um, not really like waltz through, but you know, just kind of maraud through. I mean, this is this is a good one to do. Like I said, um, very easy, very easy, fun. I don't think it's too bad. 
Lots of goats, though. Lots of goats. Once again, like I was mentioning earlier, um, in Dunland, you do some quests um, surrounding these goats and stuff like that that are kind of neat, kind of cute, like I said, that set it up. And it's really weird when you're just playing through this game, and like I said, this is one of the first skirmishes that opens up to you. Fuck, can we attack something here or just target the wrong thing the whole damn game? That'd be nice. There we go. I do like these yetis, by the way. I think the art for these guys are really fucking cool. Look at these fucking giant ice gorillas. But anyhow, um, yeah, when you first play this, I mean, you really, because it opens up so early in the game, you really have no idea what the fuck is going on. I mean, all the references that are made in here and just the storyline and the setting, I mean, you're just like, what the fuck? Oh. Oh, big guy just spawned right on top of us. That's neat. I don't know what we did to piss him off. Can I attack something near me, please? That'd be great. So I kind of need a target to do heals and stuff. Yeah, that'd be great. Here, let's use my defeat thing on you. Fuck your shit up. Um, if you haven't, if I haven't said this enough, I absolutely love the captain. It reminds me so much of the. Um... Is that it? Or do we have? All right, I think that's it for that wave. Um, I do like the captain. It really reminds me of like the like the warrior priest of Sigmar or something from uh, from whatever that game is. Warhammer. There we go. Really reminds me of that. Good times. I really like that sort of shit. Really like something that attacks that you can attack and just kind of you know smack shit and heal everyone at the same time. I kind of like that. That's my kind of class. I like doing that. I like being helpful and supportive and all that shit. And I like buffs too. I like, I like that shit a lot. I wish there were more games that I just had, you know, sh sh that's something I miss out of Dark Age of Camelot. You know, the shamans and being a pure buff class. Those are fun. A lot of people think that's stupid, but I'm sorry. I'm just not into just, oh, you gotta do DPS. Doesn't, that doesn't, it's not all that fun to me. We do have stuff, once again, like I said, you have to clear out everything here. And, um, fortunate enough, this place is pretty close quarter, and you don't really have to go all that far to clear stuff out. Saradin and Amlon pretty much will just hang out by the gate over there until you clear everything and then go to the next gate. So I don't think it lights up for you until you kill everything, so. Once again, really straightforward skirmish. No, no tricks. Just show up, kill everything, go home. Pretty easy, I think, for pretty much any class. Although I would probably be, I would be pretty leery about bringing a, um, like a burglar in here. I don't know how that would go. I've never played a burglar in here solo. So, I mean, I don't know. That might be, might be a place that would, or might be a place, might be a class that would be a little difficult to roll through here. In general, I don't know. Like I said, I never really played a burglar all that much, so... Hey, fuck you! Come back here! Come back here! Don't hit my bitch! Well, I'm allowed to do that. Damn it. Leave my hireling alone. Thank you. Bastard. Yeah, and they like to hide these fuckers, too. Like to hide them all the way over there in the corner. These stupid little light thingies. I hate these things. So... I don't know. I just don't like stuff like this. It's not something I have a lot of fun fighting. Well, these yetis, though. I like the yetis. The yetis are cool. What the fuck? What the fuck? Yeah. Die. Fucker. Don't know what you were doing there, but I didn't like it. Let's scream at him. Yeah, that seems appropriate, right? Stabby, stabby. But anyhow. Um. Ooh. Big heels. Big heels. Love all the fucking buffs and shit. We got going down over here. I love that shit. I love it, I love it, I love it. Alright. Now let's scream at him some more. We get all of our wonderful defeat responses. Great. And. Ooh, big damage there, didn't we? More big damage. Look at that. We're going nuts. Going nuts. And. Ah, ah, I haven't done that whole sequence in a while, have I? Scream at him, because that feels appropriate. And then spitty sore. Smacky sore. Alright, now we can claim this. 
No, no, we can't. There's one more of these Elhidens that is hanging out over in the corner. I lied. Can't quite climb in the gate yet. We're almost done, too. Like I said, this is kind of a short skirmish, so if you're looking for just something quick, sweet, easy, just go in there. Especially if you're one of those people who just wants to go in and just kill a bunch of shit. This is a good one to do that with. Of course, you pretty much just kill a bunch of shit with any of them, but... Like I said, this one's really straightforward. No whistles to confuse you or anything. Get over here, guys. Open this damn door. Yeah, mine. Yeah, mine. There you go. Here comes the counterattack. We got ourselves a big ass tree to kill, too. These red eyed dogs. Jesus, got a bunch of them. And a goat! We always get goats here. We always get goats. Apparently, you know, big ass goats are bad. So we have to kill them. But like I said, a lot of those. A lot of those reasons why you're killing goats here and nowhere else is explained sort of when you do the quests leading up to this skirmish. But once again, like I said, you can't do that until you get to fucking Dunlin. Next way. So far away. So far away. Another counter attack. And then more doggies. It's alright. Oh, and we got some of the shades. I don't like the shades either. They piss me off. I don't like that disappearing shit they do when they're near death. That irritates me. Let's finish the move before we go into something else. That sounds like a good idea, no? Ah, stab it. Scream. Ugh. Now I gotta wait. No. Of course these spawn too while we're waiting for this guy to fucking come back. Wonderful, right? Oh, we pissed off that guy somehow. This second one. Ooh. Ooh. Cry of rage. Oh, I love these fucking things. Oh, I love those. My favorite monster in any game ever. Hands down. The Karogs. So. Fucking cool. I love oh god damn, we're gonna fight a ton of shit, aren't we? Oh my. Oh my, I'm gonna piss everything off, aren't we? Holy shit. So many big things! So many big things! Kill this moon taker and try and kill. Are you the only thing left? No, we got a dog here. But oh, I fucking love these things. So fucking cool. This fucking molten rock lava monster thing. And listen to it. Just listen to the sounds it makes. Ugh. Hmm. Just love these things. So fucking cool. So fucking cool. Love that shit. Boom, and it just explodes. Ugh. How badass. How badass is that? Like I said, I love those things. Those are my favorite monster that they created for uh, for Lotro here. It's not in canon in any way, shape, or form. It's just something they made up to put in the game, and I thank them so much for it because those things are so fucking badass looking. You do some quest yeah, for obvious reasons. I mean, it makes sense that they're going to be in Warrior, right? But yeah, like I said, absolutely love them. One of my favorite monsters that I've ever seen in any game and it's not one of those things that like I like I like him because I like killing him. I want to get out of that shit don't I you know some of those things where I like them because they're easy to kill or anything like that just I just love the badassery of that thing just it just looks kick ass alright we're alright we didn't piss that guy off yet. that's good that looks like I gotta reforge some shit Jesus and stab Swingy stab. Hey you, come back here. Let me scream at you. There we go. Oh. I fucking hate when they do that so much. They're just... They're just... Like, it just puts the brakes on the whole fight. Just... 
stops everything. It's like, ah, no, fuck it. We're just gonna take a break here. I'm gonna scream at you. Because I can. Oh, fuck you. Come back here, you fucking mountain gorilla. You fucking snow gorilla. Arctic gorilla. Whatever the fuck you are. Alright, we're almost at the end here. Almost at the end. We get our our, uh, our whatever you want to call it, villain of the fucking whatever this is, skirmish area. Those are the words I'm looking for. Fuck. All right, now we're ready. Claim the banner and kill an old lady. I know. Grab the drummer. Come up and. They say things. And I like, go boom, 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 boom. What? <sighs> oh, see the shadow? Ooh. Oh, boy. Yeah. Get our first, uh, this is the first Drake I think we've we've fought on any of the, um, skirmishes. Um, and these things can be kind of badass, if you're not careful. Oof, see? Shit like that is fucking hammering on me. It's all the fire, and then she spawns little babies. She spawns little babies! But it's okay, we got this to help us out. Aha, motherfucker! Oh, he's got heals. Oh, I probably should do that because that actually costs morale to you. But once we knock this thing down to size, which I recommend doing. Oh, oh, ah, no. Now we kill the old lady. Little white. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna see if we can. Well, no, I can't really tell what she's got on her cloak. She makes some real pitiful sounds, doesn't she? Jesus. Like, wow, I feel like I'm... I think she spawns things here, or no, or am I wrong? Am I losing my shit? Maybe not. But we are gonna go ding ding. Go shiny, shiny sword on you. I guess I can drop that too, and heal everyone else. Why not? She's about to eat it anyway. And... Oh, do we get to loot you? Yeah, we do. Wonderful. We uh, both of y'all, don't we? Alright. We have killed the old lady of the mountain. Don't you feel good about yourself? Oh, do we do we get to loot your corpse? We do, old lady. Give us some fused bronze relics. Bronze? Bronze, bronze, bronze. Some bronze relics. And some... Bounty. Oop, always collect the fancy wood chest to get some extra shit out of it. Oh, more bronze relics. Look at that. How awesome is that? So we get handsomely rewarded for killing an old lady. You should feel good about yourself. You really should. But anyhow. There you have it. Um, Like I said, pretty easy skirmish. Um, you do have to, obviously, if you're playing by yourself, you do have to make sure you down that drake or stay out of the fire, all that shit that it drops pretty quickly. Um, but that's about it. Helps, obviously, if you have some sort of way to heal yourself if needed, or you just DPS the hell out of it. Um, either way. But anyhow, um, that does it for this episode. You made it this far on YouTube, you know what to do. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye now.